Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. I'm doing a review on The Trouble with Little Secrets by Joss Wood. Now, this is the third book in the series. If you read the first two books, you would know Peyton was definitely going to be a part of it. And baby, let me tell you, she was an important part of this one, honey. Mm-hmm, child. Let me tell y'all, first of all, Peyton left town. Um, it was a lot. Like I said, it was a lot. Um, she was messing with Malcolm. She was Malcolm. She was Malcolm's ex fiance. Came back to town with her two friends, Simon and King, who happens to be men. They got married, and they are now husbands. And she happened to see Jack at the uh, wedding because you know the Grantham Forrester Grantham family. Forced to grant them family got coin. Evangeline got power. So, you know, she's, of course, going to support them. Um, when I tell you they met, <laughs> was knocking boots all night long. <laughs> Boo child. Um, you know, she ended up saying deuces and, you know, she went about her business. Now, the reason she went about her business because Evangeline made a threat to her. And it's a lot of power that Evangeline had. So she was basically like, and the girl was only 19, so I get it. She like, oh, okay, you got that power. I'm not going to buy deuces. So with that being said, she, um, like I said, she left. And I get it. She left for her own sanity and her own safety. So, you know, her friend Simon and King basically like, yo, you need to tell, tell Jack what's really good with your child. Because, you know, he don't he has a right to know about the child. And she has a hard time dealing with it. She has a hard time dealing with it. Um, because like I said, eventually has a lot of power and there was a lot that happened with Malcolm's death and all, too. And speaking of Malcolm, baby, it is so much mystery about Malcolm. It is a lot of drama between, um, who, like, the mystery goes on for Evangeline's lover, the blackmailer, the parents. Woo, child. I thought book two was explosive, but honey, book three got this one beat, and baby, let me tell you. That's my phone. Don't mind that. Shit done got real in book three. Um, you know, eventually and her definitely meet because, um, you know, she got to tell eventually about her great grandson and eventually straight up apologize like, yo, you know, I apologize for what I did. I was grieving. I was grieving hard. And, you know, pay the steps of apology. But like I said, there's a lot that went on in this book. There is so much that went on. Then, when, of course, we're still dealing with Allison and her, um, some of her visions and whatnot, or some of her taste and whatnot. It's a lot that went on. And, um, child. There was a lot that went on. The mystery gets juicier. The love scenes are very much spectacular. Um, Payne feels a way about Jack. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot of tug of war in it because, you know, that's what romance is. But anyway, I want you guys to check out this book series. I'm going to put book one and two below so you guys can check that out, the whole series. Um, definitely check it out. It is a good series so far. I'm on book three. I will be doing book four soon, but this is amazing. Truly amazing. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.